Sarah, lovely to meet you. So how does it feel to be here tonight and nominated for this award? Oh, it's amazing. I'm, I feel so lucky to even be here, never mind be nominated. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And what can you tell us about your roles in Apostasy and the A-World? What, what attracted you to these characters and what was your experience making those films? Uh, I think the thing that attracts me to them is that they're real people. You know, they're not um, sort of... They, they represent real people who actually, you know, are about. So, yeah, I, I think that's sort of what, what I always look for in a role. Now seems like a really exciting time for women in film. Like there are more and more really interesting meaty roles to get your teeth into. Do you feel really positive about the landscape at the moment? Yeah, of course. I mean, it, like the film, obviously all the films this year have been, it's been so strong, um, all the competition and stuff. So yeah, it's amazing. I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to come out this year. And can you tell us about your next projects? What are you working on now? Um, I've got the A Word Series 3 coming out. Uh, no, we, we start filming that in May. Um, and then I have another independent film uh, happening hopefully like end of this year, beginning of next year. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that as well. Do you have any particular role models, like actresses that you really look up to and that you really admire their careers? Um, everyone. I look up to anyone and everyone. Um, yeah, the, I've, I mean, there's the obvious ones, Judy Dench, all the big ones. but. Um, there's actually, sort of this year, I've been more drawn to sort of younger actors around my age that I've been inspired by, sort of like Florence Pugh, Timothy Chalamet, all those kind of actors. So yeah, yeah. Fantastic, it was lovely to meet you. Thank Thanks you. so much. Thanks. <laughs>